escaped out the stew. Beat resonates the bones in you. Moves like America's best dance crew. Job and walkies, evolute with hip hop all upon me. Best part of me has to rock. Care less, no one rolls on the block. Rhythm and blues, and my soul won't stop. Words ignite rage, relatives, speeches, Morpheus gave. with its angal where we have come to experience dressage is the greatest event that's happening here today and as you can see uh, and hear a lot of noise in the background we're having a ball of a time it's just splashing water and though i wanted to show my six pack it's just that i've kept my six pack very clearly in one pack that i couldn't show my uh, six pack off well premi here is going to give you a clear introduction over dressage and angal there is a very very interesting story behind it premi you take the lead yeah, okay Uh, Ahungala used to be Asungala, where uh, one of our ancient kings collected here all the horses for his cavalry and kept them here. So Ahungala finally has horses back again, and uh, the horses are going to take part in a big dressage competition, which is going to be all about how well the riders control their horses and how much they all enjoy having a competition. All right. Yeah. So that's going to be the great event here, and we will tell you more as we take the show along. So stay tuned. This is Channel One MTV. thing night out and premi my partner has gone for a message and i went and spoke to them and they speak like this i love the accent i love the accent so i'm not allowed in the female spa so i'm going to sit here and wait for premi this is night out wala re night out silang to the night is my world city light painted girl I'm going to have a little bit of a head massage, and I hope I'm not going to fall asleep because uh, I hear it's really, really good. me the manager behind the scene of everything that is to organize for this weekend and night out is a part of so dilan tell me when you wanted to organize this apparently this happens every year right yes this is an annual event in the hotel uh we usually have monthly events uh we are one of the most happening hotels in sri lanka so we have certain events happening every month but this yes is particularly an annual event Well I I heard a little bit of a story behind why uh, horses are such a such a privileged thing to have in this little area why don't you say it from your part as well surely uh, I think if we, if you look back at history Ahongalda has been known as Asungalla which means horse cavalry and or the horse stable uh, and Balapitiya which is a bunker in terms of English so dating back to the 5th century we've had relationship with the horses and uh, heritance we always value the the local product the local art dance culture the local history and that's one of the involvements of heritance aungala with the horses Today on Night Out, we wanted to show you a very special feature, and Premi is the expert in this. When I say expert, she's a girl who is nearly paid to do this professionally. So she's that's how expert she is. Anyway, so we're going to show a little bit of a dressage, right? Yeah. Dressage. Dressage is a competition that's going to happen very soon, but um, this is Nabila, and she's going to show us a little bit about dressage and what dressage entails with her rider Jeevraj.
first night here before the grand weekend starts off tomorrow it's a colorful day from morning all the way till night things for children to teenagers everyone has something to do here and uh, today of course it's like the opening uh, what type of a response are you planning on getting from colombo well actually i'm happy to say we are, we're full we're fully booked out for the weekend and uh, all sri lankans are uh, being a premier event they have responded and we we are we're hosting most of our clients are from Colombo, uh, some of which who are kind of horse trainers or they're involved in horse riding, but uh, the rest would be people interested in the event. And uh, we're having a full house tomorrow. Night out. Hongala dressage is to take place tomorrow, but we are all here on the day when preparations are taking place, when the feeding is up and going, and it's a huge event. I'm sure Premi would have given you a, a little bit of more information about this. So this guy next to me, well, he's no stranger to everyone who watches Channel 1 MTV. He has been uh, showcased on our channel, and also he's such such an award-winning person who, who this hotel is gifted with. So let's start by introducing him. Uh, Chef, I must say, uh, very much of a superior man with multi talents. So, why don't you, uh, how can I call you? A pet name for you? Uh, Dimutu. All right, I'll call you Dimutu. Dimutu itself. So, tell me now, you, ha you are not only a super guy when it comes to cooking, you're a person who has uh, made more out of your talent. And this is a huge project now, this is a many hour project. What time do you start? Um, uh, today morning. Okay. Now, from the point of making the sand stand up, that is all under your construction. Yeah. Because uh, myself and my colleagues. Okay. So we went together today morning. We start the project. Uh, now, within uh, three hours, it will go to finish. Okay. So uh, practically now, we, you could see the face there, and every every part of every hair that a horse will have has been looked into. So it, the complete structure up to the leg, everything is going to come on. Yeah. So this will stay on for how long? How do you, how do you see that the sea sand stays this way? Uh, this will uh, remain uh, two three days because uh, after the sand uh, carving, yeah. I am going to do some spray. But then uh, it will stay two three days. All right, so it's practically a canvas or it's like a painting done on sand and it's sealed. Yeah, it will going to be sealed with the chemifex glue. So this is not the first time. How many how many of these have you done? Uh, actually, this is uh, my first time. Sand Kadal. I am working as a chef, a group yeah. chef for Ekinspens Hotel. So this is my hobby. Oh. So I call my colleagues and uh, so I want to do this one. Great. Can you just imagine? First attempt to be so perfect. I'm telling you, you're a man with so many talent. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, you may continue and I shall just sit and admire and observe every part of it. Stay tuned because we might exactly show you some part of the end result before we go, alright? Do keep watching this channel, 1MTV. Uh, let's speak to uh, Chef of course. Uh, why don't you just start with what you have with us? So the dressage, uh, tomorrow the dressage is starting with tonight uh, Mexican night. It's a Asian corner for section. Crab, fish, and so many vegetables. Two varieties of sauces: uh, carbonara and the uh, napolita. I always thought you got pita in India, but you get it in Mexican. Pita bread. Pita bread. Have you tried that one? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Want to try it? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's exciting to watch it. Exciting. Danny, you yeah. want to try it? <laughs> well, for some odd reason, Premier has given uh, made me the guinea pig to try everything out. I'm yeah. trying to work on my six pack, as I told you at the start. <laughs> Anyway, this is what these special guys have done as a special output that they are giving beyond the normal menu that you'll always give out. So, how has it been? It's more of Sri Lankan guests this time. So, how, has, how have you tried to cater to the... How do you try to pick and choose when it comes to them? Actually, during these uh, Mexican nights, uh, there are so many Sri Lankans tonight. And then they will 
explain to their friends and it's uh, go to the others. Everybody knows you stand up. You're watching Night Out right here on Channel 1 MTV and as you know, uh, I've been making friends uh, throughout my journey today on Night Out. So uh, these two guys are simply terrific and they have come to experience Sri Lanka once again and they have been here for, they're going to spend only two weeks here, many days are gone. But uh, uh, he's half Sri Lankan, she's completely Indian but who really likes Sri Lanka and she said it out very clearly. So I think uh, thank you so much for that. So thank you so much for giving us time to speak to you guys. Um, well, tell us a little bit about yourself. First, uh, your names. Uh, my name's Johan. Um, I live in London. Uh, I'm a civil engineer. Uh, I'm actually half German, half Sri Lankan. Um, I'm Sonia, and I also live in London. I'm a Cisco engineer, I see. Um, I'm half Sri Lankan. Two engineers. That's really cool. So tell me, uh, now, your nightlife here, this is just, just complete relaxation for you in Sri Lanka, is it? It is, yeah. So you come over here just to stretch and just to unwind? That's right, yeah, just relax. Completely okay. kick back. <laughs> so back at home, what, what's, what's the nightlife? What, what, have, what type of things that you all get out to do or what are you all, in, what are you all really keen on doing when it comes to weekend comes? Well, as years go on, I get a bit older, so I do like the occasional drink. Um, the partying days are pretty much over now. Um, I don't know about my young fiance here. Oh yeah, I like to party. <laughs> yeah, um, drinking and um, pool, just bars mainly, more than the clubs. So uh, now, if you're a person who likes to party and if you think that your partying days are over, so for you it's girls not out. Uh, yeah, girls, boys, you know, good, good fun. So now here in back at home, uh, nightlife is really, really thin, you know. It's just one set of audience we have and it has rotated among all the other clubs that we have. So a club for it to survive, it's maximum, I'll give it six months. Then again, it gets revamped, new management, it's the same venue, but it's a new look and new name and things like that. So how is it there? Can a club survive for a very long time back at home? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of the good clubs have been there for some time. Um, once they build up a name, and the rapport, they, they keep going. So it's not like it's here in Colombo or Sri Lanka. What is your favorite type of music when you want to hit the dance floor? Probably like R&B, hip hop, house. But I do like a bit of Bhangra music and uh, you know Indian yeah. and mixed. So I'm happy with any sort of music, as long as you can dance to it. <laughs> so uh, uh, the, the, the flow that she said is, is the flow that's popular here in Sri Lanka as well. Yeah, and of course retro. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, it's still alive and, I, and if there is a retro party here in Sri Lanka, it's always full. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much guys and if we could have a little wave to the camera. Night out. On channel one night. <laughs> <laughs> Children! 
I'm on fire tonight because I'm going to be grilled on Night Out. When we do come back, we'll tell you more about the happening events that are yet to come on Night Out. Stay tuned to this Channel 1 MTV after the break. All the people... We have been served with some great cocktails in front of us and I have some of the silver here who has been so great with us when it comes to treating us and keeping us in our best comfort level here. So uh, I've spoken about what is to happen here, what is the big deal of why we are here but let's speak to him about when it comes to the main part when you walk into a place where you need hospitality, you need food and you need to make it very special with every bite you have. So as a person who is in charge of this very much of a live wire when it comes to the industry of uh, hospitality. How do you take this challenge to your day-to-day -day life? We are really not worried about our, our, our basically our cost factor. It is the product that we are looking at, quality, quality, quality. So talking about quality, we have uh, some cocktails in front of us. What do you think, I'm sure you would have tasted some of the best cocktails here. What would you place as your favorite? Is it here or is it something else? Well, unfortunately, it's not there, but uh, it is an innovation innovation cocktail that we are looking at. This is uh, this was made by our barman. It is called Malibu Beach, which is uh, made out of uh, Malibu rum, pineapple juice, and grenadine syrup, with uh, passion and mango, uh, the liqueur, which is the best one I have ever tasted. So uh, now. Coming to the part of uh, coming to the part of uh, cocktails and hosting people, what would you say as the best dish that uh, this hotel is known for serving the clients that have come, or the choice that many have chosen, like a number one choice here? Well, uh, you will be surprised. It is chocolate mousse uh, because uh, here the chocolate mousse is really, really famous. Uh, even our Sunday buffet, the most favorite dessert is chocolate mousse. The consistency is really, really good. Well, it is chocolate Well, talking about chocolate mousse, I'm one of those people who, who, who is a person who will love anything to do with sweets. So I think I've just increased my taste buds. But uh, we've spoken about mocktails and cocktails and chocolate mousse. But there is a very special part of this coming, coming your way. So when it comes to night out, we just don't give you the glitz and glamour of a night event. But also what is good in fine dining. So we'll see you soon with that best part coming your way. Dressage is at the back uh, being fine-tuned for tomorrow. It's going to be a colorful weekend. So night out is just uh, doing fine dining here. And uh, we are, of course, with uh, Mr. Sampath, who is giving us a rundown of some of the best things that this hotel has to offer. But he spoke about ice cream, and that really can interest me. So I thought we need to come to know more about it. And uh, you have some fancy items. So why don't you sort of tell me some of the outrageous ice cream dishes that you serve because I could only call it outrageous because it's out of the box thinking. Where well, these are very, very unique types of ice cream. The menu is featuring um, ice cream sandwiches, batter fried passion fruit ice creams, and this is actually ice cream cigars. Also, we have a signature ice cream called Inheritance, which is more Sri Lankan touch. It's wonderful. We are not we are not supporting smoking at all, but it smoking something like this is simply delicious and good for your health. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that is a great feature. And uh, when you say ice cream that has a Sri Lankan touch, what does that mean? Well, it is with uh, uh, Kithul Chagri, Prika, plus uh, we have add something, uh, the cardamom, 
for the ice cream, the cardamom flavored ice cream. Uh, well, that's it. It's a, it's, a, it's a combination of all these things. So that's something that you need to check out when you do come this side. So I'm just going to in, indulge myself in this delicious thing in, that's in front of me. Well, it's time that we say goodbye, unfortunately, on Night Out, right here on Channel 1 MTV. Until then, you take good care. Oh. Yeah. Well, she just wanted to say that she's really sleepy, aren't you? Yes, I'm really sleepy. We had such a big day and it was amazing. Yeah. Well, she's the girl behind the horses, so she knows the whole procedure, how it works here. It's a tiring day. It's a day where we really got crisp, even if it was a night. So it was a great night out edition for you. So until we see you on another colorful one, this is Danu signing out with... Brilliant.